And let me just make one comment as a side. Mm-hmm. If you go, if you Google my name on the internet, okay, that's a good chance that it's going to come up. Henry T. Sampson, inventor of the cell phone. And as a matter of fact, it came up during my introduction last night. That is untrue. <laughs> and I don't know how that. How did that sleep? I don't know that how it came up, and I think it came up because somebody saw that I had to the, the, the gamma Motor. electric cell. But and not connected cell together with, with cell the phones. cell phone. And the two completely different principles they operate on and had nothing to do. And I, I assure people, if I had invented the cell phone, I would own an island someplace <laughs> in the South Pacific. We would be right? down there. Yeah, right. We would do conduct this interview on this island. <laughs> You'd even pay for my travel. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the gamma electric cell is a um, solid state device. I mean, it's a solid device for converting energy from gamma radiation directly to electricity. This, uh, the gamma electric cell is currently being used to measure the, um, uh, measure the strength of um, radiation that emanates from underground nuclear testing at Los Alamos. It has been used, I'm not sure if underground nuclear testing is still going on. And uh, it's particularly suited for this particular uh, application. Uh, otherwise, uh, the gamma electric cell is being used to monitor uh, high doses of uh, gamma radiation in various places in the country. And it is important, and it's one of the only devices that, that can be used for this particular purpose.